In this video, I'm going to show you how to forward calls from CallRail to your Smith AI virtual receptionists or any other number. I'm Kelsey Johnson, Product Marketing Manager at Smith AI, a virtual receptionist service for businesses. Our receptionists can answer calls 24 seven, qualify and intake new leads, schedule appointments and much more. CallRail is a tracking and analytics platform for phone calls and also web forms. You can use it to track calls from leads and clients, optimize your marketing, and calculate the return on investment from your campaigns and receptionists. Today, I'll go over the best way to set up your account for direct forwarding 24 seven, and also how to set up call flows to direct leads to Smith AI and clients to another number, set up a schedule for when your receptionists answer, and also how to add voicemails with transcribed recordings at the end. I'm gonna get started now by signing into my CallRail account. Now that I'm in my account, I'm gonna show you how to set up a simple 24 seven call forwarding. Go to tracking at the top and then choose the number that you wanna to forward to your Smith AI receptionists. Click edit on the right hand side next to the number and then edit next to number options. Scroll down to forward calls to and add your Smith AI number here. Click save, go back to tracking, and you'll see that this number is now being forwarded to your Smith AI number. But we have one more step to go. Go back into edit and scroll down to advanced options. Click the pencil next to advanced options. Scroll down to the bottom where it says caller ID options and make sure it's set to caller's number rather than tracking number, call rails universal number, or a specific number. This way, Smith AI receptionists and our system will know whether this is a blocked number, a direct transfer number, or somebody who has called previously. To set up more complicated call forwarding, head to call flows on the left-hand side under calls and texts. From here, I'm gonna create a call flow. I'm gonna start with a blank one and click configure call flow in the bottom right hand corner. In this example call flow, I'm gonna add a greeting first. If you're recording your calls for quality assurance, make sure that there is a message that says this call will be recorded for quality assurance that plays before anything else you do. Next, I'm gonna set up a menu. The menu option allows you to send certain callers to one line while you send other callers to another line. So let's say you want to send your new leads to your Smith AI receptionists. You're going to say press one if you are a first time caller. And then you want to forward to your Smith AI receptionists. Press two if you are a current client. And then this will be forwarded to the company line. Now we need to set up the forwarding. So I'm gonna click on forward to Smith AI and follow this line down to give it rules for what to do when you forward to Smith AI. I'm gonna click dial here and then add my Smith AI number in. Make sure you do not click prevent voicemails and automated systems from answering a call. This can delay the amount of time that it takes for your Smith AI receptionist to pick up the call. Always make sure you add a voicemail option at the very end, just in case. We now have what to do if somebody presses one set up, but we also have to set up 
what to do if somebody presses two. Click here, follow this line down, and then add in your company phone number for when a current client calls. I recommend actually also dialing, if for some reason you don't pick up the phone, adding a in a dial to your Smith AI receptionists here. And then always make sure that you add a voicemail at the very end. Now you've set up a system in CallRail to send all of your first time callers to your Smith AI receptionists and all of your current clients to your personal company line. I'm gonna call this call flow, new leads to Smith AI and click save. Now I'm gonna show you another example of a call flow that we can set up to use with Smith AI receptionists. I'm gonna create another blank one, configure call flow. And this time I'm gonna start with a schedule. I'm gonna go for weekdays between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And then what I want to happen during these weekdays is for the line to ring my company's line. So I'm gonna click dial and set this up to forward to my company's line. And then of course, always a voicemail at the end, just in case something happens. But then I'm gonna add a schedule branch for the weekends all day or weekdays between 12 a.m. and 9 a.m. And then weekdays between 5 p.m. and 11.55 p.m. This schedule, I'm gonna set, making sure that I'm clicking on it, to forward to my Smith AI receptionists. What this means is that all of the calls that come in on this number are gonna be forwarded directly to my company's line from nine to five, but at all other times, they're gonna to go to my Smith AI receptionists. As always, make sure you set up a voicemail at the very end. CallRail will want you to set any other time as well. So make sure that you set that either to your number or to your Smith AI receptionists as well. Okay, you now have this entire schedule set up. I'm gonna name this Smith AI receptionists take calls after hours and click save. I'm gonna show you a couple of other examples of call flows that you will not want to use with Smith AI receptionists. The first one is a round robin. Round robin is often used in sales teams where you wanna make sure that everybody on the sales team has the same opportunity to pick up the calls. The calls will go to each of the numbers in succession and then start again at the beginning. You don't want to use this with Smith AI receptionists as we won't be able to take all of your calls. Another option that might be interested to you is the simul call. The simul call will ring all of these numbers at the exact same time, but it kind of defeats the purpose of having a Smith AI receptionists answer your calls for you to have your line ringing as well. That way you'll just be interrupted by as many calls as you would have been before.
Now, I have these call flows set up, but they aren't being used by any of my numbers. So once I have them set up, I'll need to go back to my numbers and make sure I set each one to one of my numbers. So let's say I want Google AdWords to have my new leads go to Smith AI, but my current clients always go to my line. But for my website number, I want to make sure that all of the calls go to Smith AI receptionist after hours and all of the calls during hours go to my company's line. If you set these, but you want to change them back, you can always change them in the edit over here on the right hand side. I hope this was useful in setting up your Smith AI receptionist alongside CallRail. Please let me know in the comments if you have any further questions about using CallRail and Smith AI together. Do you need to get started with Smith AI? Head to smith.ai slash receptionists to get a free trial today. And if you have any further questions about setup, please don't hesitate to email us at support at smith.ai.